section. Good <laughs> morning, everybody. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 3. We um, just left church. It's a Sunday. And it's the first time we've been to church. And it's the longest we've sad, ever gone. Sad, sad. Yeah, it's the longest we've ever gone without going to church. And it felt... <laughs> Not it that was, we have not wanted to. It's just yeah, been, it's just, it truly feels like, okay, we we're going at this holiday season being stress-free, and I feel like we've accomplished that with all of our goals, but in the midst of that, every single Sunday, there was something, either she's been sick, sorry, I'm holding the camera, but um, either she's been sick, or we're going here, going there, visiting people, um, for the holiday season. Um, his sister had a baby, so we went one weekend. That was a long time ago, but that was still one of the weekends that we didn't go to church. So anyways, I just feel like we did not, we haven't had an opportunity to go to church, and me and you started feeling it like two weeks ago. I was like, okay, we have got to go to church because you start feeling yes. like that Sawyer in the back. But, um, we really missed it, and it was really exciting going to church today. I feel so much better. How do you feel? I feel a lot better. I'm sorry I'm uh, paying attention to the road. Uh, For some reason, okay. We are, we are vlogging uh, on the road, so. Okay, but you're not trying having to look at the driver. camera. No, he is so bad at driving, guys, and the fact that he has been so focused today, I don't even know who he is, because he's not uh, good. I'm pretty sure I'm a great driver. <laughs> he's not, so. he's not. So, anyways, um, right now, so we're leaving church. We're going to um, a nearby country club, and it sounds super bougie, but we're not. Um, my step. Super what? <laughs> we're going to the country club because my stepdad gets a membership through his work. And at the country club um, today, they're having like a brunch with Santa, which that'll be super cute. And she'll hate Santa because all kids do at this age. No one, they, and especially Sawyer, she's not going to want to get handed off. But it's festive. So we're, we're going. We're all about the festive. Yeah. And since my stepdad gets it through his work, it's like a free lunch. So really excited about that. Free is free. Yeah. F R E E is my favorite word. And so, um, after that, we're going to go home and I'm going to put her down and Trey's going to watch Sawyer while I go to Dollar Tree. I'm going to put together um, some like school stuff for Sawyer to do at home because I feel like we have just been slacking when it comes to educational activities at home. I hate waking her up. Good morning. Got goldfish everywhere. Hey, baby. Did the nursery wear you out? <laughs> it's bright out here. Let me think about waking her up and going to see Santa. <laughs> Should be interesting. Yeah, she's going to hate it. <laughs> you know what's really good about this, though, is that I'm going to get her when you go to the Dollar General to get her stuff, and she's not gonna take a nap. And she's gonna be like so excited. No, I'm gonna keep her up whenever we get home. I'm trying to get run over by this car. to try to do with Sawyer and the things that I need for them. Um, a lot of them are around my house that I don't even have to pay for. So everything that I'm about to do is very affordable and simple because I'm not into um, the things that cost $200. Oh, get this gadget and this gadget and your kid will be Einstein. Well, first off, that's not true. I can tell you that from experience and <laughs> just from like my teaching experience, that is not true. You can use the most simple things and get the exact same results. I wanted to come up with a better schedule just because I feel like um, 
there are so many pros to like not go into daycare I and mean, there's also cons and one of them is the educational side and also the social side and I don't want of course you don't want your kid to be behind in anything and so I want to use my time wisely with her so if your kid and this is just I don't even know if there's research behind this this is just my my opinion um, if your kid is acting out there's a good chance like a lot and you're like what in the world is going on with them why are they acting out like this and they're getting into things and you're constantly having to be on them I would um, I really think and I learned this in the classroom that they're bored and Sawyer is different from me she's more like Trey in this way that she needs a lot of brain stimulus and that's why um, I wanted to come up with a better schedule so one way that I think is going to be benefit that I'm going to try and y'all can try with me and let me know um, what you think about it if it works for your baby um, is to change your environment and whether that's doing your active like these activities do it in a set have a set certain area in your house or a certain place where you do schoolwork and I'm going to call it schoolwork because that's I don't want to call it educational learning activities every time. That's too long. So I'm going to call it schoolwork. So a designated spot to have to do their schoolwork so that they go to that spot and they know what they're doing. I'm going to not kill myself to have certain activities, but one pro to being a stay at home mom is I do have the time right now because I don't have um, other kids to worry about at the moment. Just know that we're all in the same boat and I don't want. Um, I also can feel um, inferior when other moms I, that I know they have this going on and this and oh look at this educational thing that I'm doing for my kid and blah blah blah. Okay, we can't be haters and say my gosh she just does everything and da 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 because we all are just trying our best. Okay, so I don't want you to feel like, well, I'm never going to be able to do that with my kid and blah, blah, blah. My kid goes to daycare. These are just fun little things that you can even do on the weekend. Like if your kid is driving you crazy in the morning time, they might be bored and just whip out some, you know, pasta noodles and some straws and boom, you got yourself an educational activity. Okay. So I'm going to stop talking because wow, I just went on a rant. So I'm going to go into Dollar Tree and see what they have and um when i get home i'm going to show you what i got and also how i'm going to use them and what i'm going to use them for and um hopefully this week we can implement them and sawyer will like them i hope that she does i hope that it's not just a big waste of my time <laughs> Actually, Sawyer is awake right now. That's why I'm having to be in our guest bedroom <laughs> because she is a wild child. I figured I'd go through everything that I got at Dollar Tree. Um, I got so much stuff, you guys. Even um, like stuff that I didn't go there for, I got. And they, it was a madhouse, but it was worth it because there were so many things there. And which I love Dollar Tree. I go there all the time. But um, I'm going to first. I'm going to go through everything and show you kind of what I'm going for. Um, and some of this stuff is going to work and some of it isn't. You just kind of have to trial and error kind of thing. Um, all right. So the first thing I got, they had a ton at my Dollar Tree at least. They had a ton of uh, bins, just clear bins. And I figured I would use these as sensory bins. And if you're not familiar with what sensory bins are, you can look it up and there's so much on it. But um, you basically, you can look it up um, for every age. But especially for younger kids, it's really good for them to um, feel around, explore with different textures, shapes. It's just so good for 
for their little brain. So I bought two of those, um, and I actually thought that this would be something kind of cool to put in the sensory bin. They had a lot of rocks and pebbles that I think would be awesome and perfect for older kids, but they were a little small for Sawyer. I feel like if I took my eye off of her for one second, she would swallow it or something. So they had these uh, seashells, <coughs> and I figured that would be good to go in the sensory bin. And I, what I'm about to show you is going to be kind of random and not in a good order because that's just how my mind works. So... Sorry if that bothers you. Um, okay, I found this. This is random. If this is like a wood puzzle, I thought this was such a good find. I might put this like in her stocking. They had a bunch of construction paper. So I just got um, a whole bunch of construction paper. And also, um, to do crafts, They I got every color paint that they had. This is Crayola. This is like good stuff. So um, I think I got like four or five colors to do that and I already have um, like a footprint reindeer kind of craft I would like to do because everyone whose kids go to daycare y'all probably get way too many crafts and you're like trying to find a place for them but she's never done one <laughs> so I figured you know it'd be kind of fun to do like a little Christmas craft and I also got this little bin it's a small bin to keep all of the paint and I got paint brushes to um, go with that as well yeah, they have these like little paint brushes. But another thing to do with, and if you don't want to do paint, um, something really good is to paint with water and you just get construction paper. You get a, um, I think really a sponge paintbrush would do best, but they didn't have any, so I just got these. But um, to just dip the, like a bowl of water, then dip it into the their paintbrushes in the water and then paint um, paper with water, it's, not as messy and it's really good for them. So I'm also going to do that. Oh, um, they had jumbo crayons. That's self-explanatory, but I loved how they were jumbo and not regular because that's, um, easier for her to hold it. Um, I got her this for the crayons and uh, she can color on construction paper, but this is just a plain white pad that I thought she would definitely use. This is, um, also something kind of Christmassy. So there's these little foam, um, what are these called? Foam shapes. And I figured we could use one. You, you don't have to use all of them because they come in a whole pack. I don't even know how many is in here. Twelve. So I was going to use one of them. She's really into stickers and that's that would be awesome for her. So I got these glitter stickers and there's also these uh, sticker boxes. And I don't care if she can use these stickers after Christmas. I really don't care. But um, <clears throat> to stick onto the snowflake and also I was going to use the snowflakes um, in another little activity as well. I don't know exactly what I want to do with it, but um, I'm going to use them um, in another learning activity. And I'll let y'all know in a video. So I got a cookie sheet, which you could use one that you already have at home because I do have other cookie sheets. But I wanted one that could just be for like school so I don't have to keep walking up and down the stairs just to retrieve this and she this is a, a um these are refrigerator magnet little animals that I'm giving to her for Christmas so I figured we could just use those so that they stick to the cookie sheet we can talk about the animals what sounds they make and also I want to get um some letters and numbers to go on here so we can kind of do that. That's a very easy and expensive <clears throat> little activity. Okay, so I got these. Um, they're like, they were in the baby section. They're just little clothes pins and just anything little like this, there's, there's, it's so versatile. But the one activity that I was thinking about doing is getting a empty paper towel holder and sticking it to the wall. I saw this on Pinterest and they use pom-poms, which would probably be better, but Dollar Tree didn't have any pom-poms. So I figured it would be kind of cool to, uh, so you get the paper towel, stick it to the wall, and then they drop the pom-poms or whatever little thing that you have to go through um, the tube and uh, into a bowl. And so I figured that this would be good for that and so many other things as well. Okay, so I got these little bows. Um, and I have a lot of big bows in my Christmas gift box that I already have. So I'm going to have bigger and small ones. But I saw on Pinterest as well, a good thing for them to do is to just stick them on the wall and to just kind of maneuver them. And that is just a good activity for them. So I got these 
Oh, another thing that I wanted to do with these to go back. Sorry, I'm going back to this. But um, I showed you in an earlier video the card drop where we have the Pampers um, little wipe dispenser. And you put cards in there. This is another great thing to do that with. Especially because these are kind of skinny. Um, great, great thing to do that with. I got these. I don't know what I want to do with them, but I know that there's so many activities to do with these. So I got these just to have. And there's some other things that I did not buy, but um, there's activities that I can tell you all about really quick. Um, but there are things that I already have. So one thing is the noodle. It, <clears throat> is um, with noodles and straws and so you get really, really wide um, noodles so I don't know what they're called but they're the ones with a really big hole we're not talking about macaroni noodles and you have to put get a straw and you put the noodle in the straw and that teaches them like fine motor skills it's, it's awesome for them and so I'm going to do that but since my Dollar Tree did not have pom poms this is just an idea for you that I can do later on I just did not buy them is to get a whisk and those little pom-poms and put them in the whisk and they have to get them out of the whisk. And that is something to keep them busy and also really good for fine motor skills. Okay, one thing I am gonna do as well is um, water play and <clears throat> it's where you get two bowls of water and they have to get a spoon and they scoop water into the spoon into another bowl. And um, that might take a little bit for her to get the hang of, but I think I am gonna try to do that. And she will love that. She loves anything with water. Oh, I forgot. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but I feel like when she's older, it would be cool to like um, uh, separate and color, like, okay, reds go right here, blues go right here. That's in like way later, but I figured we'll use this for sure. Again, I don't know what I'm gonna use with these. Um, they're clothespins, but I don't know what I'm going to do with these, but I know that there's something for us to do. And so I figured they're so good. Um, their size is really good, and I, I will find something of how to do this, and I will let you know. And I also got this big bin to keep all of, so the sensory activities are going to go in those bins, um, these small bins, but everything else I'm just going to pile in here and then put in a cabinet so that it's out of the way and organized. And um, I just want to reiterate that all of these things came from uh, Pinterest. And that does I did not spend hours doing this. It all came from like one website. Let me see. It's called Little Learning Club. Um, some of the stuff I already knew and I kind of did in my classroom. Others I had not because I was teaching six-year-olds. I wasn't teaching one-year-olds. So that's a little different. But... Um, you do not have, I'm not doing any, anything special. I do not know anything more than you. We are all just trying to do our best and be good moms. And you do not have to do these things to be a good mom. Because guess what? Your kid is not going to remember that you had a sensory box full of shaving cream and seashells. They're going to remember that you were present and that you loved them. They're not going to remember the best Pinterest meals and the time where you you know stayed up really late wrapping their presents they're just not they're going to remember the day that you know you probably wouldn't think that they would remember the day at mcdonald's when you let them get a happy meal and how that made them feel that's the things that they're going to remember so as long as you love your kid you're doing a you are doing a good job and i just want to reiterate that because i do not want anyone to feel inferior because that is just such a sucky feeling. And if you have any other ideas, um, because this is my first shot at this thing. I've never been a mom before. And I just want to do the best for my kid. And so if you have any ideas or if you teach preschool, please message me on Instagram. My handle is Abby underscore Mullinax. And so message me, comment below, give me ideas because I would love to know more ideas because I don't want to, because I feel like these are a little bit, this is a good start, but it's not everything. And they do change so much month by month. So help me out and help other mamas out there out as well. I wonder. Huh? Sorry. Sorry. How come you like to stand in the corner? Oh. 
tray. Please clean up the kitchen and do all the laundry. all year. What's he out there? Huh? Trey, please don't fold this laundry, please. Protect your purse. Say, Dad. Say, Dad, come do Mom's laundry. Well, oh, are you going to fold it? Are you gonna fold it? Sawyer, say hi. Hi. What's he doing, baby? Okay, so. <coughs> Um, we went to, after we kind of hung around this afternoon, I did some laundry and I should have emptied the dishwasher and didn't, but, um, we went over to my mom's house because my brother's birthday is tomorrow. So we just had like a little family dinner, um, to celebrate his birthday. He's turning 20. Um, happy birthday, Avery. After that, we came home and, um. I put her to bed and Trey actually went to go see a movie with his dad, that new Ford versus Ferrari movie. They went to the movie and are still there actually because it was like a seven whatever, 755 movie I think. And so um, I've been sitting on the couch and I have a really bad habit of procrastinating. And so I have to get up and be an adult empty the dishwasher finally clean up the kitchen and pick up and go to bed because i am very 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 tired um i think i'm going to end the vlog here but i hope something in this vlog helped you in some way shape or form um if it did let me know in the comments and if you liked this video make sure you give it a like and if you are not subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe and introduce yourself in the comments. Um, I love the going back and forth and just getting to know you or catching up with people who I haven't chatted with in a while. Um, I love that. So please do that. And I hope you have, by the time you see this, it'll be um, a Tuesday. So I hope you have the very best Tuesday. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.